It's doing what others won't. If you do what everybody else does and expect to be extraordinary, you're not going to be. If you do what the next person does, you're just going to be ordinary. So I would definitely focus on the amount of hard work, effort, discipline, and sacrifice it takes to be extraordinary. You have to do more. Yeah. You have to do the extraordinary to be extraordinary. You put in woman in top, money behind, you losing again. Yeah. Ain't gonna go, cause I'm the problem like of you. Yeah. 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 be fine, never the car, she calling I'm again. I'm gonna give her a <laughs> Hello, 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 good people. So like I promised, today we'll be talking to Jody Solomon. Jody Solomon is a trainer and um, a manager, a boxing manager, and she has a gym with Roy Jones Jr. Winning comes only with a team that breaks limits. Because the truth is, even the champions of the world never did it alone. Oh, hi. Hello. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good and you? I'm all good, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I, I really thought, uh, yeah, it was not going to happen, but thank you very much for giving me your time. It's always Welcome. amazing, and I can't wait to talk boxing with you. <laughs> so, Thanks for having me. Thank you. So if I were to ask you a question, your love for boxing. Yes. What, like, where did, where would you say it started and um, how much boxing have you done? I know you fought before, uh, but you didn't do it professionally. Quite a long story, but so I'll give you the short and abridged version. Um, I had quite a difficult upbringing when I was younger and um, for some reason, to be quite honest, Sylvester Stallone in the Rocky movie just did something to me. It just gave me hope. And mm -hmm. it was kind of an analogy for my life because my life was full of conflict and fighting, not necessarily physically, but uh, there was always fighting in my life and a lot of pressure. It, was, it wasn't a very pleasant youth. And uh, I always thought one day I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to train and I'm going to be like Rocky and I'm going to you know, attain things in this life. And I used to love watching Mark Tyson and Lennox Lewis when I was younger. I don't really come from a, a family that's sporty, but boxing just always held oh. a special place for me. And I always thought you were going to... You always I thought, thought you were going to give me like a family history, family tree oh, about no, boxing. No. And then in my early 20s, I walked into a boxing gym and I just, I don't know, it just made sense. I fell in love with the sport. But unfortunately, when I was younger, I mean, I'm nearly 50, there was no such thing as women's boxing. So there was very little I could do with my passion other than to just keep on training and training. And in my early 30s, that's when I got involved with managing fighters. And Isaac Chalemba was the first fighter that I managed. So, so yeah. you're still with him? Let's let, let's talk Isaac. He's winning a lot of uh, fights, uh, and he's he's been managed by you since the beginning. You also train him. How does the training go, and how, what does it entail when it comes to you and and, and your gym and uh, Roy Jones himself training okay. Isaac? So basically, about nine ten years ago, I signed Isaac to American Promoters, and since he was. Since then, he's always fought overseas. He hasn't fought locally. In that time, he's been trained by a number of um, trainers, Dan Birmingham, Buddy McGirt, and Roy. So what we've always done, because Isaac lives here, is I used to train him locally, and then we'd go overseas in preparation for a fight a couple of weeks before, and whichever trainer he was with would put the finishing touches on. So essentially, we've retained that. So um, uh, if Isaac's got a fight coming up, we will train here. We'll work on the game plan, the strategy. Roy and I will chat over WhatsApp, you know, and come up with plans. And then 10 days, two weeks before the fight, we'll meet Roy at the venue and we will, you know, he'll put the finishing touches on. The only fight that I've ever trained Isaac for completely by myself was his fight against Sergei Kovalev in Russia for the unification. So yeah, I did was that his on best fight? Was that his no, that first fight? In, no, that was in 2016. He fought Sergei oh, okay, Kovalev okay. in Russia. It was a huge fight, and uh, that fight I did completely on my own. 
oh, that's nice. So yeah. uh, I thought I, I really thought that would have been his first fight. So if you trained him in between, that means you know how to do this thing. I feel like uh, I should come train with you somehow. Uh, yeah, so no, let's talk the gym now. He was missing runs before he joined me. He had had a few fights before he joined me. He originally trained oh. to turn professional with Nick Durant, and I think he had, if I'm not mistaken, about nine fights with Nick before um, him and I started working together. Oh, nice. So, so, so he was a professional yes. already. Oh, okay. Yes. That's nice. That's amazing. Yes. So let's talk about the gym now. The gym opened in 2018. How has the gym been since then? Uh, and how does it work? How does the gym work? Is it personal or do you do personalized classes or do you do um, group sessions? Okay, so basically we run for, for commercial clients, we run both cl uh, classes and private one-on-one -on -one sessions. Um, my boxers that I train, train my clients. So my clients are learning the Roy Jones Jr. style of boxing. Uh, so you can only learn that through me or through Roy um, in this country. So yeah, so it's very specialized what we offer. And I also obviously train my professional fighters at the gym. So. There's a lot going on in the course of one day. <laughs> Do walk-ins happen or is it you have to come month to month or can a person pay a lesson per day, kind of? Um we, we do take like drop-ins if people want to come, you know, and try once off or if, you know, they want to come not so regularly. We are open to that, but mostly the clients come on a month-to-month -month basis. Oh, you know, okay. that's, 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 how, that's how you see progress if you stick to it. You can't come once and think that you're going to be a boxer. You have to you have to come regularly if you want to see yourself get fit and lose weight. I was busy thinking we we're just going to come for one one lesson and then start fighting people at a bar or <laughs> something because people cause trouble all over the place. But yeah, I get it I don't now. I think it's that easy to 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 become a specialist at something just to do it once. Now, unfortunately, it takes a lot of practice. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about expand, expanding the gym. And um, I, I saw an article saying you wanted to, you want to do uh, anti-bullying campaigns. Uh, are you planning on expanding? Or how are, are the anti-bullying well, campaigns going? As far as expanding the gym, I've got no uh, plans right now to expand the gym. I'm very happy with just the one that I have. Um, I still work a lot overseas when it's not COVID, so I'm still traveling a lot. So one gym is more than enough. Oh, yes. um, with, regard, with regards to the anti-bullying campaign, we started it towards the end of last year. Um, it's a campaign that I thought would um, help build self-esteem and self-confidence in young kids. You know, unfortunately, there is a lot of bullying that goes on at schools. And most bullying is as a, is as a result of low confidence and low self-esteem either the person bullying or the one getting bullied. Unfortunately, oh, yeah. I think that there's still a very big stigma about boxing and what boxing is. Most people consider boxing to be a rather violent sport. For me, it's more a game of stand-up chess. It's about thinking. It's about planning. It's about strategizing. So, it, you know, I think first I'd, I'd have to try and push educating people on what boxing really is for it to work successfully. We have, we did get into a few gyms before, I mean, schools before um, COVID happened, but I think a lot of people still are of the view that boxing is extremely violent. Um, violent. You know, watching it, all they see is people throwing punches. They don't understand what happens behind the scenes, what it takes to throw those punches, the thinking behind it. It, it really is a thinking man's sport as well as a physical sport. You have to have boxing intelligence. Yes, because now I'm, I'm thinking, uh, I thought uh, boxing was easy before I talked to you. Obviously, yeah. I do the gym one, you know, in gym, you just hit the punching bag and you feel like, you know, these things. But now I, I feel like, yo, I've been playing around. I still need to come learn a bit of boxing that side. So I'm yeah. going to find a way to come see you. No, you um, know, it's, all, yeah. it's always easy to hit a bag because the bag doesn't hit back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, now I feel like I'm going to So on the first day, I'm, I'm, am I going to be fighting someone? Oh, like, no, no, no. Okay, no. yes. No. I was worried now. <laughs> like, yes. Most people look good on a bag because it doesn't hit back. Okay, <laughs> so I'm, I was just worried. I thought maybe we're going uh, all MMA first day kind oh, of fight. No. But no. Okay, so I have to ask you a film question. 
Uh, yes. If you were to make a film about boxing, or if anyone was to make a film about boxing, what aspect of boxing would you want them to focus a lot on? Well, if I had to make a film about boxing, it would be focused on the hard work and discipline and sacrifice that's required. A lot of people don't understand that to be the best of the best in any sport, whether it's boxing, rugby, cricket, it takes a huge amount of dedication and discipline, and even more so, it takes sacrifice. Unfortunately, um, most sports people are young, and they don't understand that when you want to be a champion, the sacrifices entail not going out and drinking on the weekends. You have to be running, you have to be working out, you have to be disciplined. It involves eating the right food. So there's a lot of sacrifice that comes into being the best. It's not just a matter of going to the gym, doing gym hours training and think that your work's done. It's going above and beyond. It's putting in the yeah. extra work. It's doing what others won't. If you do what everybody else does and expect to be extraordinary, you're not going to be. If you do what the next person does, you're just going to be ordinary. So I would definitely focus on the amount of hard work, effort, discipline, and sacrifice it takes to be extraordinary. You have to do more. Yeah. You have to do the extraordinary to be extraordinary. Nice. And I think that Yo, I've never thought of it that way. Like, I feel like today my head is getting exploded all over the place. Like, yo. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to ask you uh, one last question. Uh, sure. Rocky or Creed? Well, my boxing movie of choice would definitely be Rocky. I like the old school things. I like chasing chickens and <laughs> carrying planks of wood. I like old school. I like hard work, oh. dedication, discipline. I like, yeah, definitely, definitely Rocky. Oh, thank yes. you. So you're not about spectacle and all these effects and all these other things that we have. No, no, these days. I, I like old school. I, I, I definitely think old school training, old school mentality of hard work, getting to the ground, fighting for what you want. It's not about being a superstar and having your name all over Instagram. It's about fighting for what you truly, truly want in this life. So yeah, I'm definitely old school. Rocky's Rocky's the film of choice. I, okay, I, still, I'm just watch gonna go day. I still watch them. I watch from one to six. I will continue watching Rocky, I think until the day I die. I find it very inspiring and motivating. Thank you very much for that. I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I, don't, I remember watching Rocky when I was younger. I haven't watched it since. I think I'm going to yeah. go back just to see what, what happened there. <laughs> Someone is saying hi. Uh, I just went through the live. Uh, T-Shark. Oh, yeah, Hello, Trevor. <laughs> you know him. Well, okay. Yes, so he yes. says hi. Hi, okay. Trev. <laughs> So thank you very much. Do you have any advice for any aspiring um, uh, boxers or people who want to join boxing? Yeah, young aspiring athletes, I think they have to, like I said, I think they have to understand that to, 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 to make it to the top in anything, whether it's in boxing or in life, you have to do more than the person standing next to you. You have to be, be willing to go that extra mile and do more. If you want to be better than everyone else, you have to train harder, work harder, be more disciplined. And I think, uh, um, yeah, just just going the extra mile. It, nothing comes easy in this life. There's always a price to pay. So rather pay the price and get the job done and, and become something special than, than live with regrets afterwards. Well, okay. Thank you, thank you very much. Someone is saying first female, uh, first female manager in South Africa for the win. So, yeah, thank you. Someone is <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Uh, I'm you. gonna come check out the classes because I feel like I need to learn a bit of uh, yes, boxing. Too. Yeah, please just please. just for, for myself. So I, I'll I'll come through. I'll I'll thank say you. hi to you and and yeah. Thank you very much for all the lessons today and the information. Only a pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you, Jody. Thank you for your time. Thank you for teaching me about boxing. I'm going to come there and do it. And we are going to mix it with a bit of foam a bit because I want to learn about boxing to use it somewhere. There's no way I'm just learning. You understand? They hate it. Easy. Because they rejoice. Because people, they wish to be.